Let's talk a little about another feature of layers, layer masks. Masks are one of the most powerful features of layer-based image editors. They let you non-destructively hide, or in other words, mask, layers. To apply a mask to a layer, you can control click it in the layer sidebar and choose Add Mask. The layer mask is now displayed below the main layer and it's connected to it with a line. Layer masks work in grayscale, or in other words, black and white. Areas that are pure white are fully visible. The default layer mask is completely white, so it doesn't hide anything. If you were to invert the colors of the mask, it would completely hide every part of the selected layer so the bottom layer would become visible. So to quickly recap, layer masks work in grayscale. White areas will be completely visible, black areas will be completely masked, and gray areas will be partially transparent. To precisely edit layer masks, you'll most often use the painting tools. For example, you can choose the paint tool, select a hard basic brush, and set its color to black if you want to hide areas, or white if you want to reveal areas. Then simply paint over the areas of the layer that you like to hide or reveal. Now, in the layer sidebar, there are two image layers. When we paint over the top layer with a black brush, parts of the top layer become transparent, and through those transparent parts, the bottom layer becomes visible. Along with painting over specific areas, you can also use the gradient fill tool to gradually reveal the bottom layer, creating a fade effect. To do that, you can choose a black to white gradient, then click and drag in your image to gradually fade out a layer.